Hi everyone, it's me Olya here. You're welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn some house vocabulary. I hope you enjoy this one. But before we start learning, I would like to say thank you so much to all the patrons who are supporting me. It really, really means a lot. And also, you should know that this uh, particular uh, presentation will be available uh, for downloading for all my patrons. If you are someone who doesn't like to take notes, you might be interested in that. Uh, so, yeah, on my Patreon, I'm posting notes to all of my videos. And now we can finally start learning. So, in order to say house in Ukrainian, we say budinok. Bu the knock budinok budinok and the word combination that i suggest for you is veliki budinok veliki budinok veliki budinok means big house veliki budinok okay for instance ya živu u velikomu budinku razom zi svojeyu rodinoyu ya živu у великому будинку разом зі своєю родиною. Я живу у великому будинку разом зі своєю родиною. I live in a big house together with my family. Again, house means будинок. Будинок. Some of us live in houses and some prefer apartments. So how do we say apartment in Ukrainian? Apartment in Ukrainian means квартира. 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 Okay? So the word combination for today for apartment is простора квартира. Простора квартира. Простора means spacious. So простора квартира means a spacious apartment. An apartment that has a lot of space. So, nova квартира Степана не дуже простора. Nova квартира Степана не дуже простора. Степан's new apartment is not very spacious. Okay, so in order to say apartment in Ukrainian, we say квартира. 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 Okay, a house can be одноповерховий, одноповерховий. Одно comes from один and поверховий comes from поверх, which means story. So, одноповерховий means one-story house. Okay, or it can be multi-storied house. Багатоповерховий будинок. Багатоповерховий. Багато means many. Поверх means story, so many stories, multi-storied. Багато поверховий. Одно поверховий будинок. One story house. Багато поверховий будинок. Many multi story house. Okay. Two story, two поверховий. Three story, three поверховий. Ten story, десяти поверховий. Etc. Okay. And we can just say багато поверхівка. Багато поверхівка. Багато поверхівка. Multi-storied building. Багато поверхівка. Again, одноповерховий, one story. Multi-storied, багато поверховий, two, three, ten, два, три, десяти поверховий. And we can just say багато поверхівка. That's just a spoken version of multi-storied building. Багато поверхівка. For instance, моя сестра живе у тій червоній багатоповерхівці. Моя сестра живе у тій червоній багатоповерхівці. My sister lives in that red multi-story building. Another instance, це єдиний одноповерховий будинок на вулиці. Це єдиний одноповерховий будинок на вулиці. This is the only, єдиний means the only, one story, одноповерховий, house, будинок in the street, на вулиці. Це єдиний одноповерховий будинок на вулиці. What do we have on the house when we are looking from the outside? What do we see? We see the roof. Roof means dach. Dach. 
dach. Okay, so the word combination we can make with this word is dach budinku, the roof of a house. Dach budinku, the roof of a house. Dach budinku. Okay, for instance, z moho vikna bulo vidno lishe dach ichnyoho budinku. Z moho vikna bulo vidno lishe dach ichnyoho budinku. Okay, z moho vikna from my window bulo vidno. It was seen. Lishe means only. Roof means dach. Yichnyoho means there and budinku means house. So if we want to make a normal English sentence, we would say from my window only a roof of their house could be seen. Z moho vikna bulo vidno lishe dach yichnyoho budinku. Another thing we can see in the house is the wall. Okay? Stina. There are usually many. They would be stine in plural, okay? But one wall means stina. 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 And the word combination is mitzna stina. Mitzna stina. Mitzna stina. Okay, for instance, uh, it means a solid wall. Uh, for instance, my namahalisa rozvaliti tu stinu. Але вона дуже міцна. Ми намагалися розвалити цю стіну, але вона дуже міцна. Ми намагалися розвалити цю стіну, але вона дуже міцна. We tried to destroy. Розвалити means to destroy this wall, but it is very solid. Okay? Ми намагалися розвалити цю стіну, але вона дуже міцна. Стіна means wall. Стіна. Plural is stine. Stine. Another noun we can see in the house is door. Okay? In Ukrainian it is dveri. 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 And pay attention that this uh, particular noun is always plural. Okay? So you should always use adjectives uh, for plural when you are talking about the door in Ukrainian. Okay? Dveri. Door. Dveri. Always plural. The word combination pofarbovani dveri. Pofarbovani dveri. Pofarbovani dveri. Pofarbovani means painted. Okay? Because farba means paint. So pofarbovani dveri means the door that was painted. Okay? So for instance, obereżno. Dveri szczojno pofarbovani. Obereżno. Dveri szczojno pofarbovani. Obereżno. Dveri szczojno pofarbovani. Careful, the door has just been painted. Okay, so you don't get dirty with the uh, paint. Be careful. Obereżno, dveri szczojno pofarbovani. Pay attention that we used pofarbovani, an adjective, uh, in a form for plural. Pofarbovani with the ending e, because dveri is always plural in Ukrainian. Another thing we can see about the house when we are looking from the outside, and we can also see it inside as well, uh, it is vikno. 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 Vikno means window. Vikno. And the word combination is vitkrite vikno. Vitkrite vikno. Vitkrite means open, so vitkrite vikno means an open window. Okay, for instance, vona devilasya na nich kris vitkrite vikno. Вона дивилася на них крізь відкрите вікно. Вона дивилася на них крізь відкрите вікно. Крізь means through. Okay? So, uh, she looked at them на них through the open window. Крізь відкрите вікно. Window in Ukrainian means вікно. Вікно. Another thing you might want to know is підвіконня. Підвіконня. Guess what that means? Підвіконня. Okay, if вікно is a window, so підвіконня, the prefix під has the meaning of something being under. Okay, so підвіконня is something that's under the window. What it is? It is a window sill, correctly. Підвіконня means window sill. Підвіконня. 
підвіконня. For instance, де моя книга? Вона на підвіконні. Де моя книга? Вона на підвіконні. Where is my book? It is on the window sill. Де моя книга? Вона на підвіконні. Підвіконня? Window sill. Підвіконня. Another thing is curtain. Curtain in Ukrainian can be either called штора. Штора. Usually it's two of them, right? Two curtains. Uh, so we would say штори in plural, but one is штора. Or we can also say занавіска. Занавіска. Штора занавіска means curtain. Okay? For instance, красива занавіска. Нова? Так, недавно купила. Красива занавіска. Нова? Так, недавно купила. Pretty or beautiful curtain. Is it new? Yes, got it recently. Так, недавно купила. Yes, got it recently. Красива занавіска. Beautiful or pretty curtain. So, in order to say curtain in Ukrainian, we say штора, штора. So, we can also say красива штора or красиві штори, because there usually would be two of them, right? Красиві штори. Нові? Так, недавно купила. Штора, занавіска, means curtain. And now, the room. The room in Ukrainian means кімната. 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 Кімната means room. A word combination. Красива кімната. Красива кімната. Красива means beautiful. So, красива кімната means beautiful room. For instance, у тебе дуже красива кімната. У тебе дуже красива кімната. So, you uh, came to somebody, for, you pay a visit to a friend, for instance, and you've never been at their house, and you see their room, and you want to compliment them. You would say, у тебе дуже красива кімната. Okay? It means your room is very beautiful. У тебе дуже красива кімната. Кімната means room. What do we have in the room? If we will look around inside the room. Uh, we can see a ceiling if we look up. Okay? Ceiling means стеля. 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 And the word combination is стеля кімнати. Стеля кімнати. Okay? We know that кімната means room. So стеля кімнати. Кімнати in genitive case gives us a ceiling of the room. A ceiling of the room. Okay? Стеля кімнати. Uh, for instance, якщо у вас висока стеля, а here I suggested you another word combination, висока стеля. Uh, висока стеля means high ceiling. Висока стеля. So, якщо у вас висока стеля, придбайте нашу шафу. That's literally a sentence I took from the uh, advertisement of uh, some furniture store. Якщо у вас висока стеля, придбайте нашу шафу. Якщо у вас висока стеля, придбайте нашу шафу. If your ceiling is high, buy our wardrobe. Шафа means wardrobe. So, if you, ha if you have a high ceiling, buy our wardrobe. So, ceiling means стеля. Стеля. Стеля кімнати means a ceiling of a room. And a high ceiling means висока стеля. Висока стеля. Giving you uh, two word combination, uh, combinations on this one for some reason, but you can never have enough, right? There's never too much. The next word is підлога. 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 You can guess from the picture that it is the floor. Підлога. Підлога. Uh, the word combination is дерев'яна підлога. Дерев'яна підлога. Дерев'яна підлога. Дерев'яна comes from дерево. Дерево means tree. So if something is дерев'яне or дерев'яна, it means that something was made from uh, the tree or it's wooden, okay? So дерев'яна підлога means a wooden floor or just a wood floor, right? Дерев'яна підлога. A floor that was made from wood. 
So, for instance, сходи вели у маленьке приміщення з дерев'яною підлогою. Сходи вели у маленьке приміщення з дерев'яною підлогою. Uh, now we can um, analyze this sentence and get some uh, other words from here that you might want to memorize. For instance, сходи. Сходи means stairs, okay? So, сходи вели means the stairs led у uh, маленьке приміщення into or to a small room з дерев'яною підлогою with a wooden or a wood floor, okay? So, сходи, pay attention to this word, сходи means stairs, uh, маленьке means little or small, and приміщення is another way to say room, приміщення, okay? Uh, so, підлога means floor, дерев'яна підлога, wood floor or wooden floor, підлога, підлога, підлога. Uh, next unit of our video is um, bedroom, okay? Bedroom in Ukrainian means spalnya. Spalnya. Spalnya comes from the verb spate, spate, right? To sleep. So that makes sense. Spalnya is a room in a house where we sleep, right? Sleeping room. Spalnya. Spalnya. Okay, the word combination is zatishna spalnya. Zatishna spalnya. Zatishna means cozy. Zatishna spalnya, cozy bedroom. For instance, nowi mebli zrobili spalnyu duże zatishnoyu. Nowi mebli zrobili spalnyu duże zatishnoyu. Nowi mebli zrobili spalnyu duże zatishnoyu. The new furniture made the bedroom very cozy. Okay, so the word you might want to pay attention uh, as well in this sentence is mebli. Mebli. Mebli means furniture. Okay, mebli. Uh, so, uh, in order to say bedroom in Ukrainian, we say spalnya. 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 What do we have in spalnya? What do we have in the bedroom? Let's take a look. Of course, first of all, we need to have a bed, okay? Uh, so the bed in Ukrainian is ліжко. 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 Okay? The word combination is зручне ліжко. Зручне ліжко. Зручне ліжко. Зручне means comfortable. So зручне ліжко means comfortable bed. For instance, ліжко у цьому номері дуже зручне. Ліжко у цьому номері дуже зручне. The bed in this hotel room is very comfortable. Ліжко у цьому номері дуже зручне. In order to say bed, in Ukrainian we say ліжко. 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 Okay? If you say it slowly, uh, you pronounce the letter ж in the middle properly, right? You say ліжко, ліжко, okay? But if you say it quickly, it sounds more like ліжко, 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 okay? So ліжко means bed, a comfortable bed means зручне ліжко. What do we have on the bed? Of course, we have a pillow. I know some people who don't like sleeping on the pillow. I'm not one of them. I need a pillow. So a pillow means подушка. Podushka, podushka, pillow, podushka. Uh, and the combination and the word combination is, oh, I have written pillow instead of podushka. So you pay attention to the word combination that I'm telling you. Mjaka podushka. That's where the word is written. Mjaka podushka. Mjaka podushka. Mjaka podushka means soft pillow. Mjaka means soft. Mjaka podushka, soft pillow. Podushka, podushka. For instance, ця podushka ne lishe krasiva, vona ще i duže mjaka. Ця podushka ne lishe krasiva, vona ще i duže mjaka. Ця podushka, this pillow is not only beautiful, ne lishe krasiva, it is also very soft. Вона ще й дуже м'яка. 
Ця подушка не лише красива, вона ще й дуже м'яка. In order to say pillow in Ukrainian, we say подушка. 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 And the blanket is ковдра. 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 The word combination is червона ковдра. Червона ковдра. A red blanket. So, for instance, подай мені, будь ласка, червону ковдру. Я трохи змерзла. Подай мені, будь ласка, червону ковдру. Я трохи змерзла. Змерзла means I'm feeling cold. Okay, so we will translate it as Could you please give me the red blanket? I feel a bit cold. Okay, червона ковдра means red blanket. And the blanket itself in Ukrainian means ковдра. 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 Another thing we can see on a bed is sheet, okay? So, the sh to say sheet in, in um, Ukrainian, we say either prostiralo or prostiradlo, okay? Both versions exist and are considered correct. Prostiradlo. I personally would say prostiradlo with uh, de. Prostiradlo, okay? Чисте простирадло means a clean sheet, okay? So, if you want to say I need a clean sheet, you would say мені потрібне чисте простирадло. Мені потрібно чисте простирадло or простирало, okay? So, in order to say sheet, in Ukrainian we say простирало, простирало or простирадло. Prostiradlo. I would personally prefer the one with the. Uh, near the bed, we can uh, we can see a nightstand sometimes. Uh, so in order to say nightstand, we uh, in Ukrainian would say tumbochka. 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 Okay. Uh, so um, the word combination is bila tumbochka. That's what we have in the picture. So I decided to make a word combination with that. White nightstand. Bila tumbochka, right? Bila means white, tumbochka means nightstand. So the combination is bila tumbochka, white nightstand. Bila tumbochka. For instance, demo yi okulare. В спальні на білій тумбочці. Let's say we have um, uh, nightstands of different colors and the glasses are on the white one. Where are my glasses? Де мої окуляри? In the bedroom, on the white nightstand. В спальні на білій тумбочці. On the white nightstand. Otherwise, we would say they are on the... Um, nightstand right but if we have them of different color them nightstands we would say on the white nightstand де мої окуляри в спальні на білій тумбочці nightstand means тумбочка next is комод 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 means a um, set of drawers uh, and the word combination is старовинний комод Старовинний комод. Старовинний uh, means antique or vintage maybe. Старовинний комод. Okay, for instance, а тут ми поставимо старовинний комод. А тут ми поставимо старовинний комод. And here we will place an antique or a vintage set of drawers. Старовинний комод. An antique um, set of drawers or chest of drawers sometimes you can say that as well okay komod 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 chest of drawers in ukrainian the next unit is vitalnya 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 means living room vitalnya comes from the verb vitate to greet somebody so that basically makes sense because a living room is a place where you are um, accepting guests, where you are greeting the people who um, came to your house 
with a visit. Okay? Uh, vitalnya, living room. Vitalnya, vitalnya. Uh, the word combination I suggest you today with this um, word is svitla vitalnya. Svitla vitalnya. The one we see in the picture. It's very light. Svitla means light. Svitla vitalnya means light living room. Okay? Uh, for instance, ja zavždy chotiv mati svitlu vitalnyu. Ja zavždy chotiv mati svitlu vitalnyu. Zavždy means always, so ja zavždy chodím mati a svítlu vitalňu means I always wanted to have a light living room. Living room means vitalňa. 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 What do we have in the living room? Of course, TV. I don't have TV in my house. I don't watch TV, but many people would have that. So in order to say TV in Ukrainian, we say televizor. 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 The word combination is nový televizor. Nový televizor. Nový means new. Uh, so it means a new TV. Nový televizor. New TV. Televizor. For instance, kupi sobi nový televizor zaradi Boha. Kupi sobi nový televizor zaradi Boha. Buy yourself a new TV for God's sake. Kupi sobi nový televizor zaradi Boha. Televizor means TV. Televizor. Televizor. What else can we have? We can have in a living room a bookshelf. A bookshelf in Ukrainian means knishkova polica. Knishkova polica. Knishkova polica. Polica means shelf, universal. Any kind of shelf means polica. But to specify that we have a bookshelf, uh, we say knishkova polica. Uh, knishkova comes from knishka, a book. Knishkova polica, book, shelf. Okay, so the word combination we have today with this word is uh, Vysoka knishkova polica. Vysoka knishkova polica, a high or a tall uh, bookshelf. Okay, for instance, ja ne možu dotiahnutisya. Tvoja knishkova polica duže vysoka. Let's say you want to pick up the book from the very top of the bookshelf. And that's what you can say. Ja ne možu dotiahnutisya. Tvoja knishkova polica duže vysoka. Ja ne možu dotiahnutisya. I cannot reach something you're reaching for. I cannot reach. Ja ne možu dotiahnutisya. Tvoja knishkova polica duže vysoka. Your bookshelf is very tall. Okay? Ja ne možu dotiahnutisya. Tvoja knishkova polica duže vysoka. So, to say bookshelf in Ukrainian, we say knishkova polica. Knishkova Polica. Any other kind of shelf would be just polica. Polica. Polica means shelf. Next thing we can see in the living room is um, a couch or a sofa, right? Divan. 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 You can also meet some people who would say kanapa, but divan is much more common and um, much more used in Ukrainian. Uh, so the word combination I will make with this one, with this word, with the word divan. Uh, so, zručný divan. Zručný divan. Zručný divan. Zručný means comfortable. So, zručný divan means a comfortable couch. Okay? For instance, um, a conversation, a small dialogue that can happen in a furniture store. For instance, let's imagine. Чим я можу допомогти? Чим я можу допомогти? Я шукаю зручний диван для своєї вітальні. Я шукаю зручний диван для своєї вітальні. How can I help? Чим я можу допомогти? Я шукаю зручний диван для своєї вітальні. I am looking for a comfortable couch for my living room. Я шукаю зручний диван для своєї вітальні. Зручний диван – comfortable couch. Couch itself means divan in Ukrainian. Divan. Divan. Or, really, you can meet the word kanapa. Divan or kanapa. Another thing is kreeslo. Kreeslo. 
another furniture item. Krislo. Krislo. Krislo means armchair. Krislo. And the word combination is zručné krislo. Oh, yet again I used the word comfortable. Zručné krislo. Zručný divan means a comfortable couch. And zručné krislo means a comfortable chair. Well, we like our furniture to be comfortable, so no surprise I use this um, adjective again. For instance, jaké zručné kríslo? Треба буде й собі замовити таке саме, але синього кольору. Яке зручне крісло? Треба буде й собі замовити таке саме, але синього кольору. Яке зручне крісло? Треба буде й собі замовити таке саме, але синього кольору. What a comfortable chair. Яке зручне крісло? Uh, I should order one like this for myself as well. But in color blue. Але синього кольору. Uh, синій колір means color blue. Well, so, yeah. Зручне крісло. Comfortable chair. And chair itself means крісло. 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 Килим. 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 Килим means rug or a carpet. Килим. Килим. A word combination is схожий килим. Схожий килим. Схожий means similar. Uh, something that looks very much alike. Okay? Схожий. Схожий. Alike or similar. Схожий килим. Similar rug or similar carpet. Килим. For instance, де ти купувала цей килим? Моя сестра має дуже схожий. Де ти купувала цей килим? Моя сестра має дуже схожий. Де ти купувала цей килим? Моя сестра має дуже схожий. Where did you buy this rug? My sister has a very similar one. Where did you buy this rug? My sister has a very similar one. Моя сестра має дуже схожий. Again, rug or carpet in Ukrainian means килим. 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 If it's very small, you can say kilimok. 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 Next one is kartina. Kartina. Kartina means picture or a drawing or painting. Kartina. Kartina. Something you can hang uh, on the wall and decorate your room with. So the uh, word combination is kartina hudoshnika. Картина художника. Картина художника. Художник means an artist. So, картина художника means a picture by an artist or a picture of an artist. For instance, на стіні висіла картина відомого художника. На стіні висіла картина відомого художника. Художника. Відомий means famous. Uh, so we will translate this sentence as hanging on the wall was a picture by a famous artist. На стіні висіла картина відомого художника. Картина means picture. Картина. 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 Лампа. 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 Lampa, very similar to English, means lamp. Lampa. The word combination is nastinna lampa. Nastinna. Uh, nastinna comes from um, the word stina. Stina, we have learned today, means wall. Okay? So nastinna means something that's on the wall. Okay? So nastinna lampa we can translate as a wall lamp. A lamp that we attach to the wall. Uh, for instance, повісьмо цю настінну лампу над ліжком. Повісьмо цю настінну лампу над ліжком. Let's hang this wall lamp above the bed. Повісьмо цю настінну лампу над ліжком. If you don't know how, the, uh, how we managed to make this let's hang, повісьмо. In Ukraine, how we... I came up with this structure. I recommend you to watch the video. I will try and leave uh, the link uh, 
down below in the description and somewhere here where you can see it so that you can watch how we uh, make uh, imperatives in Ukrainian. Next unit is kuchnia. 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 Kuchnia means kitchen. And the word combination I suggest for that one is trista kuchnia. Trista kuchnia. Trista means clean or tidy. Okay, so trista kuchnia means clean or tidy uh, kitchen. Uh, for instance, u tebe taka trista kuchnia. Знаю, це тому, що я дуже рідко готую. У тебе така чиста кухня. Знаю, це тому, що я дуже рідко готую. Your kitchen is so clean. Знаю, I know. It's because I cook very seldom, very rarely. That is because, or it is because I cook very rarely. Це тому, що я дуже рідко готую. Кухня means kitchen. Кухня. 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 What do we have in the kitchen? We have a table. Table means steel. 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 Wood table or wooden table means деревянный steel. Деревянный. We met the word деревянный already in this video, so we won't get back to it. Деревянный steel. Wooden table. For instance, ми хочемо замінити наш старий пластиковий стіл на дерев'яний. Ми хочемо замінити наш старий пластиковий стіл на дерев'яний. Замінити means to change, okay? Uh, to uh, get a new table instead of that one, okay? Uh, so we will translate that as we want to change our... Excuse me, there is a mistake. We want to change our old place plastic table for the wooden one or for the wood one. Ми хочемо замінити наш старий пластиковий стіл на дерев'яний. Стіл uh, means table. Стіл. Стіл. Table. Стіл. And um, a stool in Ukrainian means stilets. 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 A solid or sturdy um, stool will mean mitsni stilets. Mitsni stilets. Mitsni stilets. For instance, як тобі вдалося зламати цей стилець? Він же такий міцний. Як тобі вдалося зламати цей стилець? Він же такий міцний. Uh, як тобі вдалося? We in English can translate as how did you manage to do something? Як тобі вдалося? So how did you manage to break this stool? It is so sturdy or it is so solid. Як тобі вдалося зламати цей стілець? Він же такий міцний. Міцний стілець means a solid or sturdy uh, stool. And stool itself means stilets. 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 What else do we have in the kitchen? We have a, a stove. A stove means plita. 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 If you have a gas stove and you want to specify that, you can say hazova plita. Hazova plita. You can have an electric stove uh, at your house, so it would be elektrichna plita. Okay? Plita. Plita means stove. So this um, upper part, right? And the one that's down, where we, the place where we bake uh, things, is called duhovka. 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 So usually that is going to be one piece, right? Uh, on top we will have plita. And um, downstairs we will have duhovka. Duhovka. What else can we have in the kitchen? We can have a dishwasher. In Ukrainian, it means the correct term for that is posudomina mashina or dishwashing machine, right? Posudomina mashina. Posudomina mashina. Or we can just say, use a colloquial, very spoken um, term, posudomika. 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 So, for instance, дістань, будь ласка, тарілки з посудомийки. 
Дістань, будь ласка, тарілки з посудомийки. Could you please get the plates out of the dishwasher? Дістань, будь ласка, тарілки з посудомийки. Посудомийка or посудомийна машина means a dishwasher. Uh, in order to say plate, uh, we can say тарілка, тарілка, тарілка or блюдце, блюдце, блюдце. The small one is блюдце and we have big one, big plate. We can uh, call it блюдо, блюдо or блюдце if it's small. Тарілка, блюдце. But if we talk about a bowl, we would say миска. Миска, миска, bowl. A mug, чашка, for instance, чашка чаю, a cup of tea, or чашка кави, a cup of coffee, etc. And a glass means склянка, склянка, склянка comes from uh, the word glass. In Ukrainian it means скло, so a glass. Uh, of water means склянка. Склянка води, for instance. Склянка води, a glass of water. Чашка, mug, and склянка, glass. Uh, now, the cutlery. Uh, for the cutlery, we have a word combination, which means столові прилади. Столові прилади. Столові прилади. What do we have here? Ложка means spoon. Ложка. 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 Again, same, same like with ліжко. If you say it quickly, uh, you will notice that it's, it's not very comfortable to say ложка. Ложка. You would just say ложка. Ложка. Okay? So, ж begins to sound like ш if you would try to say it quickly. Ложка. Ложка. And uh, fork means виделка. Виделка, ложка, спун, виделка, fork. Knife, knife means ніж, ніж, ніж. To say sharp knife, we would say гострий ніж. Sharp means гострий, гострий. Also, гострий can mean spicy. When we talk about food, гостра їжа, spicy food. Uh, but sharp, if we are talking about an object and we say that it's a hostry, we, we mean that it is sharp. Hostry niż. Hostry niż. For instance, obereżno, це duże hostry niż. Obereżno, це duże hostry niż. Careful, this is a very sharp knife. Obereżno, це duże hostry niż. Hostry niż. Sharp knife. And knife itself means niż. 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 What else we have in the kitchen? Uh, a coffee machine means kavo varka. Kavo varka. It sort of uh, consists of two words which became one. Uh, kava means coffee and um, varity. Varka comes from varity means to brew. Right? So something that brews coffee. Kavo varka. Каво варка, каво варка, каво варка. And kettle uh, or teapot means чайник. Чайник comes from the word чай, which means tea. So something that contains tea is чайник, чайник. Coffee making machine or coffee machine, каво варка. And kettle or teapot means чайник, чайник. Kavovarka, чайник. What else we have? Microwave. A microwave uh, means mikrochvilova pitch. Mikrochvilova pitch. That's the proper term for that. But most people would just say mikrochvilovka. 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 Wave in Ukrainian means хвиля, so microwave literally means микрохвиля, so микрохвильовка means a microwave. Микрохвильовка, микрохвильовка. And toaster, very easy, 
тостер. Тостер. Мікрохвильовка і тостер. Ми можемо також мати блендер в кухні. І також дуже легко, супер легко в Україні. Це те саме. Блендер. Блендер. Просто не забудьте дуже роль цього «р». Блендер. Фридж означає холодильник. 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 Блендер. Холодильник. Блендер означає блендер. І холодильник означає фридж. Холодильник. Наступний юнит, і, я вважаю, останній. Не те, що перед останній. Извините. Ванна кімната. Ванна кімната означає бафру. Окей? Ми можемо також сказати туалет, але ванна кімната – це окей термін для цього. Тобто ванна кімната, вирішення комбінація – маленька ванна кімната, маленький бафру. Наприклад, мені подобається дизайн цієї ванної кімнати. Вона маленька, але дуже охайна. Мені подобається дизайн цієї ванної кімнати. Вона маленька, але дуже охайна. Охайна means tidy. Okay? So we will translate it as I like the design of this bathroom. It is small but very tidy. Мені подобається дизайн цієї ванної кімнати. Вона маленька, але дуже охайна. Bathroom – ванна кімната. Ванна кімната. Ванна кімната comes from the word ванна. And ванна means a bath tub. Ванна. Ванна. Or we can have shower. Душ. Душ. Ванна, bath tub and душ. Shower. For both of these things we can use the verb приймати. Приймати. Приймати ванну, to take a bath. Приймати душ, to take shower. In the bathroom we can also have a toilet. Toilet as an object, not as a space in a flat, just as an object, physical, is called унитаз. 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 Toilet. And usually beside the toilet somewhere, hopefully, uh, we have toilet paper. Туалетний папір. Туалетний папір. Toilet paper. Туалетний папір. Sink means раковина. 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 And tap means кран. 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 So tap, wa tap water uh, means uh, вода спід крана. And uh, sink means раковина, and tap means кран. Towel means рушник. 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 And in the very last unit of this video, I would like to suggest you a couple of adjectives that hopefully you might find useful when you are going to be describing your or somebody else's house. The house can be spacious or the room can be spacious. It means prostory, prostory. Uh, pay attention, I am only giving you the masculine form of an adjective. So prostory means spacious and small in space means tisny, tisny, prostory, spacious and opposite to uh, prostory is tisny, tisny, tisny. We also have a say um, in Ukrainian, uh, for instance, when you meet somebody whom you didn't expect to meet in this place. Uh, you would say, Який тісний світ? Який тісний світ? The world is very small, right? I didn't expect to see you here. Тісний. Тісний. Small, but when we talk about space. Big means великий. Великий, великий, and small means малий, малий, великий, малий. That's when we are talking about the size of something. Next, uh, when something is beautiful, you might want to call it красивий, 
красивий, красивий means beautiful, or гарний, 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 also means beautiful or nice or pretty, красивий, гарний, beautiful, and if you want to say that something isn't or someone isn't beautiful, you can just say не красивий, so that's the opposite to uh, красивий, right? Or if you want to emphasize, if you want to say that something is really looking terrible or is disgusting, is ugly, then you can say potvorny. Potvorny, but that is a really strong uh, word in meaning. Um, I would rather use nekrasily. Um, Tapli. Tapli means warm. Tapli. 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 And the opposite to it is called холодный, холодный, теплый, холодный, теплый, warm, холодный, cold, теплый, холодный. Высокий means high or tall, you can see a high stool in the picture, высокий, высокий стилет, right, or низкий, short, short, Niski, short. Sweetly means light. Sweetly, sweetly. And dark means temny, temny. Sweetly and temny. Jaskravy, colorful, bright. Jaskravy, jaskravy. And pale, the opposite. Bliddy, bliddy, jaskravy, bright, colorful, pale, bliddy, jaskravy, bliddy, jaskravy, bliddy. Soft means mjaki, 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 and the opposite is solid or sturdy, twerdy, twerdy. Mjaki, twerdy, mjaki, twerdy. Uh, the word uh, that we mentioned in this video already twice, I think, if I'm not mistaken, let's make it thrice. Zruchny, comfortable, zruchny, zruchny, zruchny. And another useful, hopefully, adjective is uh, dekorativny, dekorativny, decorative. Decorativny, zručný, zručný, dekorativný, dekorativný. Metalevý means metallic. Metalevý, metalevý, metalevý. And wooden or made of wood, wood <laughs> as an adjective. Derivjany, derivjany, metalevý, derivjany. Metalevy. You can also meet a version metalichny. Metalichny. They are the same word. Metalichny or metalevy. They all means. They all mean metallic. Hutriany. Hutriany comes from the word hutro. It means fur. So fur as an adjective means hutriany. Hutriany. And if something is made from leather, we will call it shkiriany. Shkiriany as a noun, leather uh, means shkira, but as an adjective, shkiriany. Shkiriany. Hutriany, fur as an adjective, shkiriany, leather as an adjective. That's it. I hope you enjoy this video. If you like watching videos in this format, uh, then do let me know because you know, I'm experimenting. I'm trying to come up with new formats that uh, you hopefully will enjoy. So yes, do leave your feedback in the comment down below because it is very welcome. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. If you didn't, also don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that we can learn Ukrainian together. And I will see you in my next video, hopefully very soon. Bye!